Hello friends, neighbors, Johnny Mr. Neighbor here. Welcome down the nook and a beautiful summer day, at least in my area. Today I want to talk about a couple of classic bourbons and do really a classic comparison. I'm going to look at Buffalo Trace. It's owned by Sazerac, but their own distillery. And then we're going to look at Eagle Rare, which is, even though they don't disclose the mash bill, we believe this to be mash bill one, low rye, and it's the same mash bill. So one of the key differences is this is undisclosed aged and this clearly has a 10 year age stamp. So if you have any Buffalo Trace or Eagle Rare, why don't you pour a little bit and I'm just gonna share, I'm gonna sip, I'm gonna nose and share some thoughts. So pour a dram, come on back. Three, four. Well, thanks for coming back. As I said, we're gonna talk Buffalo Trace. Now, in my neck of the woods, in my market, uh, this is actually pretty common, and I know that is not the case. There are many states that don't have it, or it's more allocated, but here in Alberta, Canada, this is always on the shelf. And what's surprising is this Buffalo Trace, I just picked up a couple of weeks ago for $26 Canadian, which is, I don't know, free in the US. It's it's uh, it's really a surprising price for this. And I've often had Buffalo Trace on the shelf over the years. And, and I look back and I think I really haven't officially talked through it for almost five. So I thought, well, uh, time to revisit what I would call a classic bourbon and one that in most markets, at least if it's available, it's actually pretty affordable. So let's go in on the nose. Sweet, vanilla, light toffee. A little bit of oak, but not a lot. Like that sweet um, almond oak. Like it's 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 quite, uh, I don't want to overplay the sugars, but it's, it's approachable, it's sweeter, not a lot of spice, more oak and vanilla. Let's try it on the palate. Cheers. So the palate gives it a little more structure, which is nice. Um, a little bit of, of uh, burnt cracker. What is that? So I'm gonna I'm gonna stay there. I'm gonna say I'll cook down sugars, more brown sugars, more baked sugars, slight cinnamons, but really light. It's not a spicy bourbon. Now, if you're coming to this from Canadian whiskey, uh, it'll feel hot. Um, it'll feel oaky. Um, if you're coming to it from Scotch, uh, definitely that um, almost a lighter, not quite sawdust, but a new oak. I think is gonna is gonna come around. Coming on the finish is when I get a little bit more of some fruiting nature. So let's try again, a little bit on the nose, because I, I didn't get it on this nose, and I've had Buffalo Trace over the years, so it's a, it's a familiar profile. But I would say, if I'm looking at a, at, a, at a fruit, it's a light, just a light cherry. Not dark, not roast, not overripe, just a, a light, almost, you know, cocktail maraschino type cherry, like a sweetness. Um, I have said in the past sweetness of honey. I'm not getting honey in here right now, but on the nose, light toffees on the palate that changes to a little bit of molasses, a little bit of cooked brown sugar, a little bit of um, and now some some spicing, a little bit of, of cinnamon, and and then the oak shifts just slightly at the end to some nice bit of drying, bit of char, um, and and then that uh, that uh, good. 45% bourbon hug. Again, if you're brand new to bourbon, I would recommend this. It's very affordable, good relaxed flavors. Um, I think it's okay in a cocktail, but I was recently over at Sons of Vancouver and Emmett said this is the worst in a cocktail. And he's a professional bartender, so that one I would have to say take his word. Um, but for me, I like the flavors. It is a little too sweet for some cocktails. It doesn't have enough backbone, like a little more rye in that. Uh, but this is great on ice, and uh, and I think it's okay in a cocktail. So a classic head-to-head. -head. Just tried Buffalo Trace. Like I said, I got it 26 bucks Canadian right now, which is cheaper than I paid for it five years ago. Bizarre. Compare it to Eagle Rare, because Eagle Rare, a little harder to find in my market. It, it really only comes in small matches and then goes away. It is the same mash bill. Uh, it's their low mash bill, the same Sazerac company, same distillery, Buffalo Trace. 
uh, released at 45%. And according to Bottle, you know, the only difference is that this one carries an age statement. So where this I feel is, you know, five, six, maybe seven uh, year old barrels go into this blend. Um, then this is uh, obviously 10 years or older. And I've heard, by I mean heard, you know, you read on websites like, well, what's the difference? is also where they age that, that these tend to be in places where there's more interaction with wood. So higher up in a rick house, hotter or better temperature swings. And this is aged a little lower or in places that there's not as much interaction. Okay. They've both been resting in new oak. They're both the same mash bill, same distillery. Let's see if there's anything different on the nose for Eagle Rare. Um, similar like i i would know that they are the same in the sense of that sweet vanilla slight toffee now i know there's no spice difference but this one uh i was gonna say drier but there's something on the nose that is a little more um slightly tannic slightly tea a little bit of um like something on the nose that's a little bit drier Yeah, we're not quite in bitter territory, but this is sweeter and, and uh, I think more approachable. But this is unique. Let's try it on the palate. Cheers. This one um, has more oak. And I know I've said a lot about that so far about here because I was trying to say if you're coming from uh, other whiskey styles, you're going to get fresh oak, sawdust oak, popsicle stick oak. I've said that here. This is certainly drier oak it is uh, a little more char and a little more drier on the palate a little more um old uh edge of leather it's not it's not full leather Le leather for me i usually get when there's other things going on but it's got a little bit of that you know that not quite old ashtray but like leather uh um older tobacco kind of note try another quick sip it's definitely less sweet uh, and it's, uh, if I've got uh, fruits in here that are like dried fruits, a little bit of dried apple and, and, uh, and a little bit of cherry, but, but I'm going to go with dried apple, that kind of, um, fruit, but without all the, the freshness and the pulp. So very interesting to me. Uh, as I said, uh, you know, I paid 26 for this same time. I paid, you know, 69 for this, uh, which is clearly significantly more money. So it's really tough to say, uh, you know, if you're new to bourbon, I would start with something like this. Get a sense of if you like this, uh, because I believe this is more approachable. This one, and as I talk, I'm going to say it has a richer finish, a darker finish. Um, whereas this, I did talk a bit about cooked brown sugars. These are almost burnt brown sugars, almost, you know, burnt apple pie, like just that edge of black uh, that gives it a nice depth, a more reflective depth. That's a longer finish. It's a longer palette but it's not as fresh. Overall, I prefer Eagle Rare. Having said that, I have bought significantly more bottles over the years of Buffalo Trace, given its price and just general, I know what I'm about to say, whiskey people would hate, but put it in a glass, throw a cube of ice on it, see where the evening goes on the patio. It's so much easier to pour this. Then Eagle Rare, because of the cost, uh, you know, and it does almost ask for a little more reflection, maybe pair it with a cigar uh, and pour it on a slightly special occasion. And I'm not sure that's why I'm here. I think I'm trying to tell you where's good bourbon or where's good whiskey and for a good price. And in this case, far better value. I think I've given Buffalo Trace only about three and a half. I've given this three and three quarter to four. Uh, so I clearly do enjoy Eagle Rare more, but I hope I've given you just a, a few thoughts or some insights onto the differences. Make your own thoughts and please, why don't you share your experience down below? One of the best parts of having a channel is hearing how you guys experience Buffalo Trace or Eagle Rare. Have a great weekend.